We're the Ghost Hunters, and this is Inside the Episode. Gaines Tavern in Kentucky. Uh, this was a great case. We had so much fun there. Train tracks everywhere, which made things a, a little bit difficult. There tends to be heightened activity near railroad tracks. If that theory holds true, which it does seem to, that large rock deposits of certain you know, minerals can hold energy, that mm -hmm. science is sound. So it makes me believe that if there's a train ripping through that town vibrating. and yeah. vibrating and shaking that rock bed, could that be a catalyst to release that energy? Makes Maybe sense. it could be. One of the things that we caught sounded like it said, hey, Jason. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, Jason. And you and I were able to check out some areas during the day, Steve, because there's some claims in one of the rooms, but... People always think we investigate at night, you know, but that's not the case. We investigate when the claims are reported to happen. So if it happens at night with all the lights off, that's how we have to investigate it because it helps us disprove things. It helps us experience the same type of phenomena that they experienced. But if it happened during the day, we're gonna investigate it during the day. Mm -hmm. If it happened with all the lights on, then we have to turn the lights on. So we don't always do it at night or in the dark. We do it when it's appropriate. Yeah, when that one room, remember we were, he, he, we started hearing like this drumming sound, oh but God, then it yes. almost sounded like, maybe we were saying like spoons or something. It, it was. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt would... about it, because it was like. Yeah, and that lasted like, for so long too. I know, and it's just like, what are we listening for? Like two right there. That was crazy. I remember you were able to show me how to do the spoons, which was very nice. Yeah, I mean, it may, to somebody watching, it could seem kind of silly. We're just kind of goofing, you know, but it got a result. Right. And you never know what is going to work as a trigger. Just your spoon technique. Very, very easy. Between your fingers, you can get the down and the up. You could do it everywhere, anywhere, in between anything, whatever you want to do. Wow. Um, do you remember? Oh, messed up there. <laughs> that little not bad. One thing you might not have seen, is we all went go-karting. And I won. Yeah. Did you? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, I, didn't. I don't know, for a second, I was just, Dave, you seem very believable. Dave, what has, what has Steve ever won? And has Steve ever won in go-karts? Not, never go-karts. But like, no. you're the one with like the training as a police officer to, to, to what is it called when you tip him or whatever? He got he got up maneuver. close to me at one point, and I wiped out <laughs> Sherry. Yeah. So so she ended up because Steve was coming up on me. So Sherry lost control of her car and got like this, and Steve had to ram into her. They literally so had to give Sherry a, a booster seat. A booster seat on. Did they really? Yeah, yeah they had to give Sherry a booster seat. A booster seat. <laughs> and I was, yeah, I was like, I'm having a hard time with the. A booster seat and go karts. <laughs> <laughs>